Hi, um, just wanted to do a video about the Apple TV. Um, I bought an Apple TV about two months ago, two, three months ago, and uh, initially I was quite pleased with it. I knew the restrictions when I bought it, but I was I was happy that I could kind of have all my music and uh, photos and uh, movies and stuff like that all in like a hub. But after using it for a while, I kind of realised the limitations of it. So I, I looked on the internet to find some way of unlocking it, and I found some software called ATV Flash, and it cost about fifty dollars. And what that allows you to do, you you download the software onto a USB stick, you plug it into the back of the Apple TV, you power down the machine, uh, Apple TV, you you turn it back on, and it boots from the USB and then it installs the software onto it and what it does it gives you additional functionality so these are the, the standard setup on the Apple TV when you get it out of the box you've got movies which is really good you can you can rent movies and download HD movies or standard definition movies I've actually started to download Ninja Assassin at the moment um, and the good thing about that is that you don't have to download the whole movie before you start watching it. It kind of buffers a certain amount. So after like 10 minutes, then you can start watching it, even though it hasn't downloaded the whole, the whole film. You can kind of stream it. Um, that's good. TV shows, you can download TV shows. You can search on uh, different kind of channels that are broadcasted shows like, I don't know, um, I'm not too sure if 24 is on there, but Flash Forward or um, Chuck or something, anything like that, uh, you could find it on there. Music, oh, it's all of my music on there. Um, and I use the, the iPhone app to control that, and I've plugged it into my BMW Zeppelin via the optical out, and I can remotely control all my music from the iPhone, which is really good. Podcasts, you can download all your podcasts. Uh, photos. Um, I've linked mine to Aperture, uh, so you can uh, sync all of your Aperture uh, photos. Mobile Me, you can link that to your Mobile Me, your Flickr account, internet, YouTube, and internet radio stations. So basically, that's your standard setup when you you buy the Apple TV. But when you install ATV Flash, it gives you. Um, more kind of plugins, more functions. So this one here, you've got media, and what that allows you to do when you install ATV Flash, um, that it activates the USB port on the back, so you can now plug in external storage, um, like external hard drives, or USB sticks, or anything like that. I've plugged in the one and a half uh, terabyte hard drive. So I've ripped all of my DVDs, all the menus, everything, just uh, no compression, and stored it onto the hard drive, and I've got like 110 uh, or so films. As soon as that's plugged into the Apple TV, um, but the, the way you can get it on, you can just basically plug it into your, your Mac or your PC and transfer it via USB, or you can download um, FileZilla or CyberDuck for Mac. And you can transfer that over wirelessly over your network, which is a little bit slower, but it's uh, another way you can do it. So when, when that's plugged in, you just go down to uh, Import All Data. It looks at the data, um, and then it searches the internet. Uh, IMDB website, which is um, like a movie database, um, and it gives you all the uh, descriptions of the films and stuff. So if I click in that. You can search on different options here, genre, director. If I click on all movies, it then gives me all of my films that I've done. So Avatar, you click on that, and on the left hand side tells you the director, the cast, um, the user rating, um, and you click on that and it gives you all the menu options like play, scene select, all of that, which is it's really, really good. I, I just I love it. I love I love having no clutter and all of my DVDs I've ever bought are on there now. Uh, browser, a Couchsurfer Pro, which is installed in the uh, ATV Flash bundle. Um, it's quite good, but you can use a better browser, which is Firefox, which is supplied with it as well. 
Lito TV. This is where you can you can check with your weather in various locations, RSS feeds. Um, you can also launch files, so you can if you see in here. Let's click on that. Get the hard drive spinning. There you go. Um, media USB. So that's what's plugged into the back. You can also from here network. You can stream um, movies from your your computers um, uh, on your network. An application. This is where you can launch different things. So Air Mouse. If you're familiar with Air Mouse, there's an app for your iPhone where it's like a um, a trackpad that you use your your phone screen for. You can use that in Firefox, which is really good. Uh, Boxy is a great app. You can use uh, if you're in the UK, you can use the BBC iPlayer and various different uh, video sources. Um, Firefox you can launch. Hotspot Shield basically hides your it's like a, a VPN um, so you can change your IP address and give you a virtual private network um, and XBMC Xbox Media Center it's just a really kind of slick way of viewing your data that's on your external hard drive and actually on your Apple TV so if I come out of this overflow this is um, a little application that allows you to have these kind of little plug-in tabs here you can put them all into overflow so it keeps the menu nice and uh, kind of clear like a clean look so I've put a few different things in here so I can launch uh, box here and XMC XBMC from here remote HD that's included on the ATV and ATV Flash software um, you can buy an app for your iPhone and you can control your uh, Apple TV over the network and you can actually see what you're seeing on the screen now you can see that on your iPod uh, your iPhone screen or touch screen and you can control it wirelessly which is, is pretty cool and settings that's just your standard um, thing on your Apple TV when you buy it um, if I just show you Boxy, so if we launch Boxy, might be a little bit slow because I'm still downloading a film. Okay, so sign into my account. You uh, you set up your account on their website. It's a free account. If we go to, if you click left on the Apple remote, go to my applications. Uh, oh, and on there you've got the BBC iPlayer. And this is a, you can watch the BBC iPlayer from, because with ATV Flash as well, um, it installs Adobe Flash. So you can use Fire, uh, Firefox. Um, go onto the iPlayer website via that way and watch um, the iPlayer but it's not a very um, a very quick way of doing it because the processor in the Apple TV isn't that fast so it's, they kind of um, say to use it this way it's a little bit more kind of refined way of doing it so you just use the Apple, TV, uh, Apple remote to select on different things and you can pick the days, the channels and just watch anything and the quality is uh, quite good so that's basically what I wanted to show you. So if you've got an Apple TV or thinking about getting an Apple TV and you're not 100% uh, sure because you think it's quite limited, if you download ATV Flash, it just gives you just a complete home hub, all your data on it, all your videos. There's no more messing about with DVDs now. Everything's stored on it, all your music, a lot. And it's, it's really good. If you've got any questions or you need help with anything, um, I'm sure I've kind of stumbled across it, uh, across it when I've been installing and setting up mine. So uh, give us a shout. Cheers, bye.